Good evening and welcome to Hungary Report, start of public media and once foreign language news hour. I'm Cenga Gabriela Iboya with today's news from Hungary in the Carpathian Basin. Let's begin. Police stopped a child driver transporting illegal migrants at Komárom. A 13-year-old Croatian boy was driving a car with a Polish license plate in which four Syrian men were hiding. Two were even sitting in the trunk. The child driver wanted to transfer the migrants to Austria. They were all prosecuted by authorities. Another nearly 4,000 third-round vaccinations were shipped to nursing homes in the capital today. The vaccines now being delivered will also be used to vaccinate carers and those in care. This was stated by the Metropolitan Government Commissioner, who added that the office staff will help the institutions not only to deliver, but to deliver the vaccines, but also to organise the administration of the vaccines. <clears throat> Another 1.5 billion forints or 4.2 million euros will be allocated for the development of nurseries and support for child feeding, the Parliamentary State Secretary of the Ministry of Finance said. Andras Stalai said that through the tender, 37 institutions maintained by local governments can be renewed or established. The list of winners is available on kormain.hu. The State Secretary reminded everyone that an important element of family support is providing nursery and child catering developments. The Hungarian Interchurch Aid has announced its fundraising campaign for school start this year. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, the enrolment of 2,000 children is being supported by the organisation. They would like to help disadvantaged school starters with packages worth 10,000 forints per child composed of quality school supplies. <clears throat> The Hungarian youth pushed the pandemic and proved that if there is a problem, the country can count on them, said Tomás Sanda at Chukoro, the national tourism meeting of university and college students. The state secretary added that more than 9,000 young people were involved in the defence, helping primarily with screenings, patient care and the assistance of the ambulance service. And finally, in a week on August 18th, a 10-day beach festival will start in Balaton Világos. The programme includes more than 100 concerts, campfires, art performances, podium talks, beach games and adventures. This year, the organisers promise a smaller, more familiar festival than usual, a kind of waterfront holiday where both domestic and world stars will take the stage. And that's all for now, but don't forget you can catch Hungary Reports every night after 11 o'clock news and online as always. Do stick around and watch our German, Russian and Chinese language news. Thank you for watching and have a lovely evening.